Is my hair like not doing right? Because I feel like it's not doing right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick makeup haul type video. Um, it's gonna kind of be like an unboxing because I have some stuff that I just got in the mail recently that I wanted to show you guys and all that good stuff. So first off, if you're wondering what my hair is doing, this is a wig that I'm just trying out. If you guys like it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, click off the video. But yeah, I'm gonna be talking about some things that I just got in the mail and I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I'm actually really sleepy. It's really late right now. So let me just go ahead and finish this video. Okay. First item that I want to talk about is Lip Monthly. And I just received this in the mail today. I was really happy to try this out because I had been hearing a lot about it around the YouTube atmosphere. And I'm happy to say that I have have a have a bag to show you guys and it is a subscription-based service of course everybody's into subscription-based services right now so if you've been looking for a subscription service for lip products there is one for you and it's not expensive either ten dollars is a really good deal i think ten dollars a month is perfect i have another subscription that i get for ten dollars a month and i love that price range because it doesn't hurt me when it comes out of my bank account and i don't feel bad about it but like i said it's just a monthly subscription where you can get lip products sent to your door every month so lip liners lip glosses lip stains lip plumpers um anything that relates to lip products you get three to four full size deluxe samples of lip products so that's like each product is probably worth around five to ten dollars itself so to have a bag full of products for only ten dollars plus free shipping you really can't beat that use the code lovely lips to get 50 percent off your first order so you basically get this bag for five dollars which is a steal some of these brands i have seen before and i actually am really excited to try you guys offer you guys know that I use the Afra brow pencil, right? Afra has been like on it, okay, with their um, promotions. They have products in literally every subscription service that I've tried thus far. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I've tried a lot of subscription boxes and things like that, but Afra definitely is doing it. So that is the liquid lipstick in Laguna Beach. They sent me two of these. These are J Cats. Crayon Rouge Lip Pencil. This one is Caramel Mocha. Caramel Mocha. And then this one is Red Rose. Okay, so there are two different colors. So this one's a red and the other one is a brown color. This is Hikari Crush Lipstick. And ooh, really bright pink. That's the color we got going on there. And then they actually sent me a nail polish, which I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way, if they were supposed to send me a nail polish. It's a lip product service, so I'm trying to figure out why they sent me a nail polish, but I mean, I'll take it. It's the Sally Hansen Hardest Nails, which I love that brand, and the color is Mighty Mango. So it's really pretty, and as you can see, I need to paint my nails. I've needed to paint my nails for about a month and a half now. And I also got Ooh, I forgot about this one. This is Mika Beauty um, Tinted Lip Balm, and it's a dark kind of lip balm, so that's cool. It actually matches my hair. That is Lip Monthly, and like I said, guys, check the description box for that uh, link and the coupon code so you guys can get this bag for $5. So I recently bought the Missy Lynn palette, and Missy Lynn came out with her own um, palette with BH Cosmetics and I'm super excited to have this. These highlight shades are amazing. I'm super proud of this. I'm super proud of her and I love this palette and I love the neutral shades. I'm not a fan of purples but these purples are really pretty if you wanted to do a smoky eye. So I am loving this palette you guys and it's only $11 so I mean you really can't beat that that's pretty much a steal well I don't know if it's still $11 I know it's like regular price like 15 but um really excited about that now I want to talk about ColourPop okay so I have ColourPop lippy sticks I got like seven of them but I'm gonna do a separate video on those lippy sticks themselves because I want to explain to you guys about them and show you guys every color and swatch them on my lips and everything so I'll be doing a separate review on the ColourPop lippy sticks but I wanted to talk about the blushes really quick just because I don't have to do swatches on those you guys can just look at them in the pan super shock cheek uh, ColourPop blushes 
And first of all, let me just say I love the packaging on these. I love the way it looks. They're super cute. Um, this is the one I've been wearing a lot recently and it's the color Fox. I love this color. It's like a coral pink color. Oh my God, it's so pretty on. And I love that they're like bouncy, like the product is bouncy. So when you touch it, it feels like bouncy. I don't know how to describe it. But um, this is birthday suit. And it's like a nude-ish mauve color. I don't even know how to describe it. I mix this color with other ones. I, I don't think it looks that great on me by itself, but I like it. This is the color Quarters, and I love this one just as much as I love Fox. It is a peachy color. It's more of an orangey peach color. And like I said, these blushes are amazing. They're only eight bucks. You can't beat that. I love these. Last two products I got from Sephora, and I'm super excited about them. One is something that I also will be making another separate review on it, so I'm not gonna really go too much detail, into too much detail about it. But I'm so excited to be trying this, you guys. These are custom cover drops by Cover Effects. And you guys know that I love my Cover Effects primer, but I've always wanted to try their foundations because I've heard that they are really great shade range for African-American skin tone. So I decided to go ahead and try it. And this is the color G80. Now you guys are probably like wondering, you know, did I get the right color? Am I wearing the right color? Well, let me just tell you, I'm wearing the custom cover drops right now and I will show you guys how to use them and how to apply them in another video. Like I said, I did get shade matched and what I would suggest to you is if you do not know what your shade is or you find that your shade is not correct, go to Sephora and get shade matched. They have an electronic shade matcher now that like they put on your body and it'll like tell you what shade you are and every single foundation they have in the store comes up and it'll tell you what shade you are in each foundation. Um, and they did it on my neck because my face is darker than my neck, which is probably why people always say that I have, that I'm wearing the wrong foundation color. Well guys, it's because my face is darker than my neck. So I got my neck and my chest shade matched and I am 2Y11. I got the custom cover drops in G80. I also got a sample of the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation because I currently wear the color Tahoe, but everybody keeps telling me that it's way too light for me, okay? And I don't think it's too light for me, but I am the shade, I'm actually the shade Cadiz. So I am a little bit off. Tahoe is a tad too light. Cadiz is my perfect color. That's what I got. I got a sample of Cadiz and I'm gonna plan on using this and seeing if I like it better than Tahoe. It's a combination of the lighting and the fact that my foundation is lighter than my face because my face is darker. I'll explain it in another video, but your face is not all one color anyway. So the outer rim of your face may be darker than the center of your face. That's my problem. My um, head, my forehead and like the sides of my face are darker than the center of my face. So the center of my face is, is the color that I use but everywhere else it looks ashy and too light. Well, that's because none of my, my face is not all the same color. And for some reason my face is darker than my neck and my chest. I don't know why. I'm really excited to try everything that I showed you guys in this video that I have not used yet. Um, so that's what I wanted to make this video about. And like I said, I'll have all the information about this hair in the description box. Like I said, it's from Wow African. I think that I am done and I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.